How's it going guys? I hope you're all doing well. And welcome to my tutorial series of how you can set up a true FPS character. So, uh, at the end of this uh, series, which I hope all you guys will make it, <laughs> uh, we will have a decent camera system, uh, as well as a uh, local motion setup with turn in place mechanic, a hand AK system. Um, a um, weapon aimed at size system and finally a weapon sway mechanic so uh, let's dive in shall we okay so usually in a first person shooter there are three ways that you can set up your character the first one is where the character only has two arms and uh, that's it nothing else the next way of setting up your character is actually really common where the character will have separate mesh for the arms and a separate mesh for the legs um, Usually with this type of setup you will see a lack of the body visibility uh, And finally the last method that I will cover today which is also the way that I will show you guys how to do is a full body mesh uh, setup where we only use one single mesh for the character and one single camera. To begin with, uh, open your true APS asset folder and open the uh, mannequin mesh. Uh, right click on the mannequin body and we will assign the skeleton to to the mannequin skeleton uh, you must be careful here because you will need to choose the skeleton in the anim status pack not the uh, not the other folder so uh, choose this skeleton and accept okay uh, next up open your open open up your character blueprint in the in the anim status pack uh, so uh, we won't need the camera boom so I will delete it and I will um, and I will assign the cam the player camera to the mesh and I will also add a uh, skeletal mesh and I will name it character head so um, in the match property, uh, I will assign uh, this to uh, this skeletal mesh to be the mannequin head. You can find this in the true APS uh, asset folder. So, and I will parent the head mesh to the head socket. All right. So I will. Uh, do a little bit of refinement alright now we're good to go and in the match in the main match here I will change the mannequin match to the mannequin body so and then compile the re the reason why I di I did this is because uh, sometimes when we attach the camera to uh, to the character uh, the head will sometimes clipping through the camera so the trick here is to uh, hide the the head mesh so uh, it will it won't keep uh, it won't clip through the camera Now we'll also parent the camera to the head socket. Uh, rotate it a bit. We're good to go. So we'll test it out in. Oh. I have to uh, drag the, ca the character here and um, 
in the in the player camera you need to take the use pawn control rot rotation here okay so uh need to uh change the auto auto process player to player zero and oh so I forgot to uh to hide the head mesh so in here you need to take on owner no uh, owner no C and uh Uh, shadow hidden shadow okay so when I play you won't see the head mesh anymore so this is good alright Alright, so that's it for this part. Uh, I will see you in the next uh, episode.